To get the height of a resident, it will depend on what, what equipment is available in your facility. In this scenario, we're going to use this tool that can be brought to a resident's room. You could also have the resident lie flat in bed and use a measuring tape from their head to their toe to get their height. Typically, it's in the medical record, so it's not something that has to be done very often as it doesn't fluctuate like any of the other vital signs we need to collect. So I'm going to knock on the door to the room and wash my hands. Hi, Annie. I'm Myra. I'm here to take your height. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to pull the curtain for privacy. And Annie's able to ambulate on her own with just a standby assist. I see she has her grippy socks on. I'm going to make sure the bed's all the way down and let her dangle a little bit. Are you dizzy at all? Nope. Okay, I'm going to help you get over to the device here, and then you can turn. There we go. Okay, keep your head up, and then I'll just put this down just to the top of her head, and then it's measured here. So it's 5 feet 7 inches or 67 inches. I could also document 170 centimeters. Okay, so I'll move that back up. All right, let's get you back in bed. Okay. Swing your legs in. Okay, are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. All right, I see you have your call light. Check that our bed's lowered again and the brakes are locked. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna open up the curtain again and then document the height.